For the first time since some of you listening, and uh, this is aging us now, Mr. Black, but for the first time since some of the people at home have been listening, or, or, or some, since some of you have been born, I guess, it appears Call of Duty will not be getting a yearly release in 2023. They're moving the, uh, the previously airmarked uh, Treyarch title from 2023 into 2024. And this is the first time this has happened in, I think it's 18 years. We've had a yearly Call of Duty release for 18 straight years. And in 2023, you're not getting one. You're saving your 60 bucks. It's going into something else. And most likely that will be Warzone or, or the Modern Warfare sequel that's coming out uh, as well. So those two titles, the rebuild of Warzone and then the sequel to Modern Warfare 2019, which is the next release for Call of Duty... Those will be carrying us all the way into 2024. Uh, and, uh, and I found that interesting that this cropped up this week. After last week, we had such a long chat about how we... I think it was last week that we talked about... Uh, you were bringing up the point about the, the honeymoon phase recycle that they've been able to abuse where the, where the cycle of Call of Duty is so frequent that you know, just by the time people are getting tired of it or they're finding all the, the, the shit wrong with it and they get fed up that... Oop, Guess what, guys? You know, six months from now, new Call of Duty coming. Let's talk about that. And everyone gets excited about that. And then the wheels keep on spinning. For the first time in 18 years, it's not going to be the case. We're going to get these uh, these two others, and then we're going to have a gap. And so that will be fun uh, to some degree to see how the market responds to that. And uh, I suppose subsequently how well the one in 2024 sells, since there's not going to be this constant... Uh, hype train. How do you think that's going to play out? Do you think it's going to make any difference at all, or do you, or, or you know, given what we talked about last time, or, uh, or do you think that uh, that this might see the franchise not be as popular as it has been? Oh, it's still going to be super popular, and it's still going to sell crazy amounts. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there'll be a, more of a demand for it uh, at that point. I mean, maybe it sells even more. It might. <laughs> uh, it might, or, you know, maybe the next version that they have coming out is 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 really good, and they want to hold on to it for a little while. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, it's um, I I I I asked this question. I never get a response on Twitter, but I asked this question. I was I was uh, Jeff Grubb had uh, had posted about this, and I I you know I said just asking nebulously or in general for anyone to answer. You know, do you think um you know how you know just the sustainability of the franchise where it's basically uh, so much of it has been this constant like keeping this level of of hype going like you're constantly injecting adrenaline into your veins every six fucking months and you know what does that mean is this going to be better for the you know for the franchise you know uh, it'll be better insofar as that i guess it will give the developers more time to actually make the fucking video game maybe so there's that maybe the rock is doing call of duty and maybe oh, this and 2023 is, is like yeah, the maybe it, <laughs> maybe maybe they're gonna film this and they want to release the game uh, right around the time movie comes out. You, oh you, shit! Christmas you never, release. Dwayne the Rock Johnson, 2023 Call of you Duty. Ne you never know, man. This could be it. I mean, he is circling a big gaming franchise. You know, it's true. You know, this could be this could be the reason. This, this it's true. Reason. You know what? I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. It's a technical alpha. It's a technical alpha call. It's a Miss Cleo call right now. Christmas 2023. Call of Duty Dwayne the Rock Johnson movie. That will be the lead up to the 2024 game being done by Treyarch. Yeah, that's the pre that's the pre-game well show. And he will he will market the fuck out of the game. He will be in the game. He will play in the movie. Um we'll see. This could be this could be the reason why. I mean if you're gonna delay anything, you're gonna delay it for the Rock, right? Dwayne the Rock Johnson flying in a in a you know uh, like an AC-130 going from destination to destination. B-roll footage on the outside of the plane. Cuts to inside of the plane. Dwayne sitting on the side of the plane, waiting to arrive, drinking a Zoa. <laughs> yep. Ah! Close, close in shot. On the side. 
Got How him. do you- that's gonna be a difficult thing for The Rock to do, you know, when you do the product placement where you have to awkwardly hold the can in such a way that, like, the logo shows, you know, Dwayne's hand's fucking enormous, right? So I gotta imagine there's gotta be some sort of, like, fucking well, camera he, trickery. He, he, he's, like, grabbing it from the top, and he, like- Oh, drinks. does he do that one? Yeah, he does that a lot. <laughs> you know, he- and he's always one-handing, because he got his phone, and so he's, like, he's perfected the- <laughs> the open- you know, turn it around. One hand open and, and then crack. I'll, and then when he's not drinking out of the can, he usually puts, he's got like a thing of ice in a cup and he pours it and then he puts the can beside oh. the glass and then he drinks it. So, you know. You know you're living fancy when you're drinking your fucking energy drink out of a glass with ice. That's, of course. that's some very fancy shit right there. Pinky out on that one.